complications. The very sound of this word can make you pause. I mean, who wants to deal with complications? Our minds immediately begin conjuring up all sorts of negative images and, perhaps, terrible memories. Failed relationships, orbital trajectories, biochemistry, algebra, IRS forms, Boolean theory, all so very complicated. And unless you were born with the intellectual prowess of Stephen Hawking, you might want to simply close your eyes and wait until the idea dissipates altogether. But when it comes to your wristwatch, well, complications are a good thing, and the more the merrier. Let's begin with watch calibers, also known as watch movements. And of course, while the case provides protection for your watch's internal components, and while the dial tells you what time it is, it's the movement that allows your watch to function. So, on the surface, when we talk about mechanical watches, we are talking about watches that use mechanical parts to power their movements. In contrast, quartz watches use electricity. For many, the term mechanical watch is synonymous with brands like Rolex or Jeje Lecoeur, and that means dollar signs dancing about in the mind's eye. But owning a mechanical watch does not have to be an expensive proposition. For those on a strict budget, do a little research. One expert resource that I have come to appreciate and admire is Teddy Baldazar, who has a strong presence on YouTube and in global watch aficionado circles. But what's up with complications? What are they and why does it matter? Well, complications provide additional functionality, like a date window, uh, like a moon phase display. Perhaps you need a chronograph for a stopwatch or a timer. Perhaps you want an automatic self-winding function. The watch I am wearing today, and the one most often seen on my wrist, was a gift from Jerry and among its finer features, it is self-winding with a power reserve and a quick set hour and date, which means I can change the hour and day independently from the minute hand. The former means I do not have to wind it every day, and the latter is very handy when I am traveling through various time zones. But why a mechanical versus, say, a quartz movement? Much like our discussion on fountain pens, I think it boils down to the appeal of the engineering effort that went into creating the original mechanical watch. It's a feat of human design. When you're wearing a mechanical watch, you're wearing an homage to the effort it takes for master watchmakers to not only design, but assemble your timepiece. It speaks volumes for a modern day gentleman when he is seen wearing a mechanical watch because it shows the world that he cares for tradition and that he has a deep respect for human ingenuity. Wearing a mechanical watch, well, that leads to the development of a relationship, a connection between a gentleman and the watch itself. It's a deep appreciation for craftsmanship and quality, for symphonic cooperation of all the tiny components working together as one, because it matters in the life of a gentleman bon vivant. And remember, there were many times in my life when I had no money, but I was never poor. Till next time.